What's up, freaks? Welcome to Steve Knows episode number two. We are live on the Instagrams, the Facebooks, the YouTubes, everything. So this is Steve Says, episode number two. If, if you've been following along, you know, during, throughout the week, we have live videos on the mind, the body, the business, on the fitness, the family, the finances. Think of this as the finances video or the business video. That's what this is about. This is Steve Knows. Steve Knows is, is all about uh, how to dominate on the battlefield of business. How to, you know, what, what make, today we're going to talk about what makes you different and better than the, than the competitors and the businesses down the street. Why should customers and clients come to you over someone else who, and maybe you charge twice as much, why should they come to you and pay more for a similar service right down the street? This is Steve Knows. Steve Knows is a live show on how to have a no-excuses business mindset, guiding you to better leadership, communication, teamwork, and problem-solving so that you can make more money with the strategy and structure to operate, to dominate on the battlefield of business. This is a show for business owners, executives, managers, and their teams struggling with the daily development, teaching, and training of your team, where we will guide them on how to become even better leaders, communicators, and problem solvers, so they'll be prepared for the battlefield of business. That's how we like to talk about it, because business is like a, a, a fucking battle. It's like a war without the bullets. So that they'll begin treating business as if it's their own, allowing you to focus on the growth and scale of the company. Now, again, today we're going to talk about what makes you different, what makes you stand out. We call them, you've heard of unique selling proposition, you've heard of all these different things, differentiators, whatever you want to call it. We're going to call it as an overarching theme, we're going to call it unique values. And if you follow any of the other live shows on the mindset, so you know, Steve says is about the mind, about uh, Steve. Steve Does is about the fitness and nutrition. This is Steve Knows about the business, the finances, the money making shit. But it's this is the same freak edge that we're talking about. This is this is just how it goes about how to operate to dominate in the mind, the body, and the business. So we definitely are going to have a different approach to the way we talk about stuff. But this is how it gets done in the real world, in the fucking trenches, to make actual money and to how to grow and scale and be more productive to get more done of quality work in less amount of time. So today we're going to talk about unique values. We're going to call this unique values. Many different ways you could talk about your unique selling proposition, all this other crap you want to call it. But we're going to talk about unique values. What makes you different? Why should someone come to you? Why should someone spend twice as much money with, for, with you when the place down the street is, is, is half as cheap? 75% cheaper, or maybe the same price. Why should they come to you? What makes you different? What makes you better? We're going to break it down, how you need to talk about it, how you need to think, how you need to operate, so you can dominate in these different areas. So first off, before you can even differentiate yourself and talk about the unique values, you have to think about, all right, a, a potential customer needs to, to like and trust and have belief and certainty in three different things, in you as in whoever is the, the face, the consultant, the salesperson, whatever the hell you want to call it. But they also have to have belief and trust and faith and certainty in the product or service and in the company and the brand itself. If all those aren't aligned, you can't. it doesn't matter what your unique values are because that's the, that's the, that's the forefront. That's what we're calling this whole idea, unique values. That's part of the unique values. The unique values are getting those, those clients and customers and potential customers to, to like and trust and have belief and certainty in you, in the product or service, and in the company or brand. That's the start. Like Before that happens, nothing else happens until that happens. And all three of those. You can't be missing not one of those. It's got to be three of three of those. So what makes you different or better? Like That's what you need to think about. How do you create a unique culture in your business in with your product or service whether it's online in person it doesn't matter what makes you fucking different what makes your services different what makes your coaching your training your product your service your processes everything about it what makes it different what makes your company different notice i'm saying different it's also better but not just better different because everyone's doing the same kind of shit what makes you freaking different so better and different is what we're talking about. 
Now, you know that in all the different businesses that I work in, I operate with these three overarching core values. We talked about last week on Steve Knows episode number one about the top three core values or about, about core values in general in all your businesses and in your family. You need to have core values in your businesses and family. So check out episode number one last week to take a deep dive into creating core values. And the top three of my own personal overarching core values that and, and just operating system is bring the fucking fire every second of every second. If you're always on your A game, you never have to get on your A game and no excuses, never make any, never accept any. That's so you need to have those core values. Those see, those are not normal core values. That is one thing right there that makes it different, makes it stand out, is your core values. That's why we're not just calling this your unique selling proposition that people try to get all fancy with this term. We're just calling it unique values. In, under those unique values is all right. Do people like and trust and have certainty in you, in the company, in the product? And then, do you have core values that? are representative of you and in alignment with you and the way you work and your your personality and your lifestyle not just some bullshit generic core values so that part of that is part of the unique values how your core values stand out so check out last week on core values what's up Stephen crawl over on the facebooks goudreau over on instagrams i'll try to keep up to date with these messages as we're going success from books What's going on on the Instagram or on all the different platforms here? Also one on YouTube live going somewhere else on the, on the other screen. It says monitors all over the place. So that's the where, where it starts. Before you even get into the details of what you specifically do, what you do better, what you do different, those are the basics. That, those are the fundamentals that have to get done first. Overarching things that need to get done. Then the next thing is your fucking story. Your, your story is your unique value. Think about that. Your story, where you came from, what you've been through, what your life's been like, the shit you've gone through in your, in your fucking life. That is your unique value. That is what you bring to the table that no one else could bring. So whatever else someone could do, they could try to copy you. They could try to fucking steal all your ideas and all sorts of stuff. They can't steal you. Like you, if, if you're in a business or a product or a service and you're the face of the company or you're dealing with it or doing the sales or you're actually providing the services, they cannot fucking steal you. They can't copy you. They could try and, and copy all the everything else you do, but they cannot copy you. So that is unique value. You and your personal story, your personality, your fucking freakness. That is unique value. That is something different. See, I, said, I, that, I didn't even say better. I said that's something different. Your story, your personality, the way you operate, that is something different. And whatever your story is and however your story relates to that business, that product, that service. And you might have different stories from your past that relate to different businesses that might fit in in different places. And whatever that is. And that story is also getting them to know and like and trust you and have certainty in you. Because remember, that was one of those three overarching unique values. Having certainty in you, in the product, and in the company. So by them, by you getting your story out there about who you are, where you came from, the struggles you've been through, how you ended up where you are now, how you end up in this industry, in this business in the first place, and how you can do it better than anyone, how you know it better than anyone, how you could do it different than anyone because of this story. That's some powerful shit right there. And you need to use that. You need to leverage that. Leverage your story. Whatever that story is, we're not going to get into my story and all this other stuff. That's, that's more on the personal development side. But you just need to have your story, have your reason why. How'd you get into the shit you're doing? You need to leverage it. That's how you, how you, how you show how your company, your business is different than anyone else. Then you also need to know how to, how to talk about your business, how to talk about your company. What is it that you do? What is it that you, that you could just tell someone in two seconds to get the point across of what you actually do? Like, can you even talk about what you do and, and what your business is about. And if someone asks you what you're doing and you're not clear in one fucking sentence, guess what? You're wasting their freaking time. And, and you're, they're, who's gonna wanna come to someone when they ask what you do and you say, oh, well, I do a lot of things. I kind of, um, uh, and you're saying all this on, um, and stuttering and all this other bullshit. If you can't even say what you fucking do, like clearly with confidence and clarity, like right off the bat, flowing, like you actually know what the fuck you're talking about, no one's gonna wanna do business with you. No one's gonna wanna work with you. Like, think about it. Like the projects, I could talk about the project all day, about what the project is. I could talk about the LTD, leadership and team development, all fucking day. I could talk about private coaching all day. I could talk about personal training all day with straightforward 
statements and sentences, if you want to call them one liars, one liners, elevator pitches, whatever the hell you want to call it. Let's say the project. I mean, there's several of them I have just for the project. We just finished a class this Friday of the project, 24 graduates. It was fucking awesome. But the project, project's a four day personal development program for men to become better husbands, fathers, leaders, communicators, and men by breaking them down physically to build them back up mentally, emotionally, socially, spiritually, and financially. That's just one statement a one-liner of the project to tell someone briefly what is the project like. Or depending on the situation, you should have different variations of your one-liner. So you can talk about your business, your product, your service in different ways. And this is what makes it stand out by having that confidence and actually being able to have clarity in what it's about. Or I would say to someone about the project, I would say I help men become even better husbands, fathers, entrepreneurs, and leaders in a highly immersive, physical, mental, and emotional way without taking away from their masculinity masculinity like society's been trying to do. Depending on where I'm talking to or who I'm talking to, or maybe it's on a podcast or an interview or a different group or speaking, you're going to have different variations of your one-liners. You need to know them word for fucking word and say it with confidence. That's the way you need to think about it. LTD, same thing. Fitness training, same freaking thing. You need to be able to talk about what you do with clarity with confidence, like straightforward. You need to have your, your call it whatever you want, your one-liner, your pitch, whatever the hell you want to call it. You need to have it locked down. Like in the gym, when I had the, the, the fitness centers, the gyms, there was I had short versions of it, long versions of it, uh, even longer versions of it, depending on what it was. But if someone just at, the, right off the bat, just get quick and straightforward, would be it's a weight loss boot camp and boxing for people who couldn't get results or fit in Anywhere else who are in search of real results and that are for real people in search of real results in the real world. Simple. Weight loss boot camp of boxing classes, training for people, real people in search of getting real results that maybe couldn't fit in anywhere else or don't fit in the regular gym and are looking for results in the real world. Simple. Or maybe something like boot camp and boxing and personal training programs for busy people struggling with their weight loss who need guidance with their training, nutrition, motivation, and mindset where we provide support and accountability so you can finally put yourself first on your way towards your ultimate dream body goals that will last a lifetime. Things like that, like descriptive, clarity, different. Different than just the bullshit generic stuff that's heard out there. So that's the next thing you need to have those one-liners. Now, again, going back to that certainty and belief in you, they need to have certainty and belief in you. That is unique value. Them actually believing you and trusting you and you being a fucking badass, you being fucking confident, that is a unique value. Unique values, and that starts with your first impression. You know how how you look, how you talk, how you dress, how you walk, how you act, how you fucking smell, how you move, how your eyes move, how your, 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 your facial expressions, that all is shown. That it shows your confidence. Like, how certain are you about what you're saying? If you're babbling and bumbling and mumbling and not even getting a, a clear point across, it's not showing much, very much confidence. Also, a unique value can actually be your enthusiasm, your professionalism, your pre- preparation. Think about it. Enthusiasm, professionalism, preparation, those are unique values. You can stand out. That's what you can do different than anyone else. Most people don't have those things. They don't show those things. It's bullshit. It's fake. It's not authentic. If you could really just be your freak motherfucking self with enthusiasm, with professionalism, and being prepared in everything you're doing, operating with confidence, think about that. Knowing your product and service inside out, the features, the benefits, the details, knowing the competitors, what you do different, what you do better than all the different competitors combined. Think about that. The tone of your voice, the speed of your voice, the volume of your voice, the certainty of your voice. These are unique values because they are tied to you, whether you're the salesperson, the owner, the manager, the, 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 the entrepreneur, whatever it is. Like this is the person that someone's meeting with or you're talking about this product, this service, this business. You need to be able to talk about that with fucking confidence. You need to be enthusiastic as hell, sharp as hell expert in your fucking field, like a pure expert, executing with excellence. That's what they're looking for. And then finding and maintaining that connection with the people. That is unique value. Most people can't find those connections. They just go straight into talking about what they're going to do. Or the second they meet someone, they shake their hand. And before they're even done shaking the fucking hand, before they even make eye contact, they're already talking about what they do and how they could get them in shape and all this other stuff. 
how they can help them out with their family and their finances and make them more money and all this other bullshit before they even making that fucking physical connection. So how do you make that physical connection right away? And that is a unique value. Making those personal fucking human connections is a unique value. And that starts with saying their name, smiling if you smile, if you're born with a facial musculature to smile, some of us just are not. Making eye contact, having some humor, being sarcastic, not overly sarcastic, not rude or fucking offensive or whatever, but having some humor, having some enthusiasm and motherfucking charisma. But when needed, being empathetic and being able to see from their side, but also authenticity, as you hear all the time, it's a word that's thrown around, but it's bullshit. Authenticity is unique value because most people are not. I'll tell you that. that is, that's a, a fucking fact. People are full of shit. People are bullshitters. That's what it's all about. Mike Pretty from New Zealand. What's going on? How's it going? Freak. So also, how do people feel when they're around you? How do people feel around you? They feel confident. They feel energetic. They feel enthusiastic when they're around you. That is unique value. How you make people feel when they're in your presence or when they're talking to you or even on the phone. If you could light a motherfucker up on the phone, they're gonna, that, you're someone that they're going to they're gonna want to be around. You're someone they're going to want to do business with. But at the same time, that confidence and certainty and professionalism and enthusiasm is going to make them feel comfortable. It's going to, you want to make them feel comfortable. N- not talking down to them, making them feel like they're stupid or wrong or you know better than them. You're a fucking know-it-all. No one likes a know-it-all. That's not what we're talking about here. But all right. Also, the way that you follow up, the way you follow up with prospects, with clients, that is a unique value. That is a unique value. Most people aren't following up with that, sending a, a video message to go follow up with prospects or clients. No one's doing that kind of stuff or actually being persistent and following up because they raised their hand and asked for help from you and you're not going to let them off the hook. You're going to do whatever it takes to be able to help them to change their life, to transform their life, to get them involved with your product or service. That is a unique fucking value. The way that you actually show up, the way you follow up, that is unique value. The way you are going to go out of your way, go above and beyond what everyone else is doing, doing shit that no one else is doing, shit that they're not used to. Like they're just blown away by the way you interact, the way you follow up, the way you connect with them. These are all unique values. And we haven't even gotten to the specifics of your actual business. But you see, if you could get these over these things first, these fundamentals first, the rest of the stuff doesn't even matter. This is the kind of stuff that makes fucking price irrelevant. It almost even makes the, the services irrelevant as long as they're executed with excellence. Like the differences in packages and services and all this other stuff. That shit doesn't matter if you nail this other stuff down. Letting really just what makes, again, what makes the unique value is what makes you different, what makes your service or product different, what makes the fucking company different. Like in the project, let's talk about the project since we just finished it. It's fresh. Before the project, what makes the project different for other men's personal development programs? Well, first of all, before the event, there's literally months worth of coaching, of guidance, of mentoring, of training, of preparation, so that when you show up to this this class two, three, four months from now, some people five, six, seven months from now, you've gotten all those months included of preparation, of onboarding, of exercise, nutrition, nutrition seminars, daily workouts on an app, weekly workouts live on video with the coaches, getting you prepared, mentally and physically prepared. No one else is doing that. It's just not happening. You're also getting weekly check-ins on email from instructors. You're getting phone call check-ins. There are, there are so many touch points leading up so that when you show up a couple of months from now, you're already a level or two above where you are. There, there are some, some graduates in the project that have gone so far to say that just the buildup of the project, just the, what went on before the project and how much they leveled up before they even came to the actual course itself, that alone was worth the price of admission. That's some powerful shit right there. And that's not even getting to the event itself or what goes on after the event. So let's talk about it. Then what are the unique values during the event? There's not, there's not just a bunch of, of fitness training. It's not just a boot camp class. It's not a running club or a camping club. It's not a sleepaway camp. There's classroom teaching. There's business training. There's sales and marketing and growth and how to build generational wealth. There's high level business coaching and business masterminding. Classroom teaching on leadership, communication, teamwork, problem solving, working on your four F bombs, the family, the fitness, finances, and faith. There's mental, physical, and emotional challenges that are going to help you deal and transform your life to deal with anything that life throws at you. That's going to make everything else that happens in life seem so freaking easy as you reinvent yourself and have a rebirth of yourself. You're going to walk out of the project feeling reborn, like literally. There's actually an evolution where you literally are becoming reborn. 
These are some of the unique values of the projects. And it's not just physical training. There's classroom training, and it's not just fitness training. The physical training is not just fitness training. There's also self-defense training. There's also uh, some basic martial arts. There's weapons operation, operations and tactics, first aid training, as well as focusing on family and relationships. Now, you don't get that all packaged up, bundled up into a personal development program. All those months worth of coaching and guidance and preparation leading up to it, then all that in a four-day period. But there's more. There's more. Then after the class, graduation, there is a graduation dinner ceremony. There's literally becoming part of a lifelong brotherhood of just hungry, successful, motivated, kick-ass men of fire from all different industries, from all over the country, and even all over the world. These are the things that make the project different. Combining the forces of a United States Marine, a U.S. Navy SEAL, a SWAT officer, martial arts and business experts. This is what it's about. And even beyond the project, when you graduate, there's literally weekly and sometimes daily interaction between all the members and the instructors. There are a couple of meetups per year of all the graduates from all the classes getting together. Reunion meetups a couple times a year. We've done them in Vegas and in San Diego. There's ongoing interaction all the time. There are pop-up events and challenges, online challenges, in-person challenges, like the 24-hour hike we just did. There's another challenge coming up in December, Suck Fest. It's just nonstop. And it's built-in networking and business networking and camaraderie, support, and accountability from other like-minded men from all over the country, from all over the world, as well as invitations to come back to assist in future classes as a junior instructor. These are things that make the project Go well far and beyond any other type of personal development, men's program, retreat, whatever the fuck you want to call it, or military style, boot campish thing for civilians, whatever you want to call it. That's what makes a project stand up above and beyond anything else. So think about it. That's how you need to be able to talk about your business, your product, your service. And you also need to talk about the benefits. What makes it different? Not just what makes it better. What are they going to actually get out of it? What is going to happen with the project? Just reading some comments here on the Instagrams. It's hard to catch up on those while we're going. So also, what other ways of talking about the product? Now, this is just to show you how to talk about your business, how the, the enthusiasm and the fucking certainty and confidence you need to have in talking about what you're selling, what you're doing, what is your product or service. In the project, you're going to, have, you're going to be built, have a built-in brotherhood with camaraderie. You're going to increase your self-confidence. Maybe if you've lost that spark, you're going to be rebirth, have a rebirth and be reborn. You're going to get refocused. If you've been going through the most in life or lost your edge or caught, caught, caught in that rut and been going, getting too comfortable, feeling lazy, getting complacent, uh, maybe you were just stuck in mediocrity, the project is going to break you down to break through all of those plateaus that you're in life. That's what's going to happen. That's how you need to talk about it. Now, I'm going to tell you how I talk about it in coaching and in the fitness business. You can get a different idea from a different perspective. But you need to be able to talk about your businesses in this way. What makes you different? What makes you better? Different and better, both. But even more so different than better. Because anyone could say that they're, they're, they're better. Sure, I could explain to you why we're better. Then it's just start being like, all right, now you got to do all this. But what, how are you different? How are you a freak motherfucker? How are you the expert? How do you stand above and beyond the competitors, no matter what they charge, it doesn't matter. Your price becomes irrelevant when you're able to do that. That's why you need to be thinking about it. Let's talk about on private coaching, on the private coaching side. With uh, Operate to Dominate in your mind, your body, and your business, the private coaching that, that we provide, one-on-one peak performance, personal development, accountability coaching. Well, first of all, it has seven-day interaction with your one-on-one coach. Seven days per week. Talk about accountability. Talk about accountability. Seven days per week interaction through email and text with check-ins and debriefs and pretty much an AAR, an after-action review like we do in the military, daily text messages, daily emails, weekly messages. They are completely customized, adding in full fitness routines and nutrition so that you don't ever have any excuses on on the body side. Again, it's for the mind, the body, the business. That's the way you need to think about it. We're working on your discipline, your confidence, accountability, motivation, putting that all together combined with the, the physical development, the fitness, the strength, conditioning, making sure you're operating with, in, with building durability and endurance so you can outlast the competition. You're built for motherfucking war. Leading in to the business, the impact and the income development. 
which is leadership and, and teamwork and communication, having structure, organization, actually going diving into your calendar, into your schedule, into your, your, your manuals and creating standard operating procedures the, the right way so you could delegate and be more productive. Like this are things that on the same time helping you with sales and marketing strategies to grow your business, to scale your business so you can get more done with less time, do more of the things that you like to do and not the shit you don't like to do. Because listen, if you're good at something and you don't like to do it, you're stuck in hell. You're stuck in that because you're good at it. You're not going to be able to, do it, to free it up. You need to learn how to delegate, eliminate, and automate shit. These are the kind of things that we do in on the business side of the OTD one-on-one coaching. This is how you talk about it, about let, being clear about what you offer in your different services. We talked about the project. We talked about private coaching. Just to give you an idea how to have enthusiasm, how to have confidence, how to speak about it, how to be clear about it, so that you can show how you are different. And yes, I see a comment. Different is better than better. Yes, different is more powerful. It's more important than better. And, and then even on top of that, let's, you should, again, know how to talk about what you're doing. Know how to have that one in, in operate to dominate in coaching. It's a one-on-one peak performance personal development coaching program for business owners, executives, managers that are struggling with their discipline, structure, and motivation where you will receive personal guidance to adapt overcome and destroy obstacles, preventing you even more success in your business, your health, your family, and your finances, where you will be personally held accountable while learning to have a no excuses mindset with energy, intensity, and focus so you can operate to dominate in your mind, body, and business and start living life once and for all on your own fucking terms. That's how you need to be able to talk about your business. That's how you need to be able to talk about your product, your service, with confidence, with clarity, exactly what it is, what's it going to do for you, how is it different, how is it better. And then then to even go to the next level, like the next type of business, you can get more ideas. Back when I had the gyms in New York, and now we do online coaching and online fitness and nutrition, we we will talk about that, like in in the gym, what makes a service better and, and what makes it better than the competition. Why were we able to charge so much more? There were gyms down the street from us that charged $50 a month. We were charging $250 to $260 a month for group tr- group training sessions. Not even an open gym. You can't even come work on your own. Just come in for your boot camp or your boxing class. That's it. In an 1,800 square foot of usable space facility. Well, what made the services different? Well, first of all, we had a a 24-hour-a-day accountability VIP page. We had a Peak Portal, which is a membership site. It's like the YouTube uh, it's like the Netflix of health, fitness, nutrition, mindset, recipes, motivation. That's what it was like. And on that 24-hour accountability page, imagine you're out at the restaurant and you don't know what to order. You can literally take a, a picture or do a live video, post it up in the group, and you're going to have hundreds of like-minded freaks or the coaches themselves responding to you within minutes, usually, to help you decide what you order in that restaurant. Or maybe you're taking a label in the store. You need some help d- determining what you should buy in the store. Post that label up so you know exactly what to buy. There, we, we did live video group coaching calls on a regular basis. There was monthly unlimited phone nutrition coaching calls available in the gym. And, and, talk, and it wasn't just a gym. You weren't buying a membership. You were coming in. You were joining a culture, a community, a team, a family where you look forward to coming in, where you can't wait to show up and you don't want to leave. Because when you walk in the gym, you might at home don't have that, that type of support and accountability. But the second you become a member here, at, at, at Peak Physique, you walk in and you become part of a team and you have an automatic built-in support system of 350 members that have your back, like-minded freaks, just like yourself. And the thing about our services, we, we are not just fat loss or weight loss. We are, we, are, we are fat loss and weight loss experts. This is all we do, all we focus on. We don't try to do 100 different things like Pilates and all this other yoga and all this other stuff. We do one thing and we do it better than anyone else and that's weight loss. Laser beam focus on weight loss singularity of focus. We may not be the cheapest, but it is the highest value and the best choice by far because you will hardly ever find the cheapest and the best and most different in the same sentence. When you sign up with us, the relationship isn't ending. The relationship is just starting. It's all about bonding and cultivating those relationships and developing those relationships with each other in this with, with the other peak freaks. This is how we would talk about the gym. Think about that. This is nothing like another gym than why we could charge five times more than some of the competitors down the street. Literally, five times more for even less than they were getting somewhere else. Think about that. Think about that. It, it was a personal development program just as much 
as it was a weight loss program because we go way beyond just working out, deeper than exercise. We talked about the mind, the body, nutrition, self-development, self-discipline, how to have a positive mindset, how to more structure in your life, better habits in all areas of life outside of the gym. And that's just talking about the services. Then you could also talk about the product itself. You could also talk about the coaches. You could also talk about the company, the business. Give you an idea of how to talk about the business. How is the business different than any other company? Well, in our gym, we had more reviews, more before and afters, more transformations, more testimonials, more case studies, more five-star reviews, not just more than any other gym in the county, but more than all of the gyms in the county combined. We were voted America's top studio at the Fitness Business Summit. We had more years of experience in the fitness industry than all the other top competitors combined. We've been in business longer than any of the other training studios combined, like actually have a, a location. We were the only private biz, private fitness center, or actually private company, that had multiple locations within the county at the same time. The owners were also trainers themselves who started out as trainers, owner operators. So it's not just someone that owns a business, it's someone who actually is in the business and has a passion and lives for this business, lives for this type of business. This is how you need to talk about your company, about your business. And those are just some ideas. I mean, I could go on and on. This could be a whole weekend seminar we could do about how to differentiate yourself from the competition, how to just fucking blow them out of the water. Think about it. Like, there's, we, could, we could really go on through this for hours and hours. Just wanted to give you the idea of really how you need to talk about yourself, how you need to talk about your business, your business, how you stand out, how you are above and beyond, how you should be on a pedestal, how you should be the only fucking company that someone thinks of. Whenever that pops in their head, you are what pops in their head. Whenever something any, anywhere related to your product or your service comes up, you should be the only thing that pops in their mind because of these unique values. That's where you need to think about it. Like we could go on and on and on. Like what will, what will, let's go back to private coaching. What will private coaching actually do for you? It will ignite the spark of greatness inside you. It will push you and pressure you and call you out on your bullshit, hold you accountable. OTD, mind, body, business, personal development, accountability coaching will get you to think differently, get you to see a whole new set of possibilities. It will encourage you to grow and change and fucking challenge you. It will call you out on your bullshit while still believing you and supporting you and inspiring you and holding you accountable for what you do or for what you fail to do. We will make you uncomfortable like never before because uncomfort, discomfort is going to what's going to lead to growth and to transformation and happiness and fulfillment and more fucking money. We're going to get you to do things and accomplish things that you never thought were possible. We're going to teach you how to flip those switches in life, help you to solve your problems, to work through them, think through them, and help you discover solutions on your own. We're going to be the, we're, we're going to be the ones that push you and pressure you to come up with those solutions, help you create a clear map. Of from where you are to where you want to go to paint a picture of what the outcome and the results look like that you're looking for. Really, it's to make you better every fucking day in all areas of life. To see the day, to see your problems, other people, the world, and just life in general from a completely different perspective. Getting clarity and getting unstuck. Considering and exploring new opportunities. Developing new empowering habits so you can operate to dominate like a motherfucker to become more productive and get higher next level results and outcomes and achieve your most meaningful, personal, and professional goals. That's how you need to talk about what you do. Can you talk about what you do like that? With that confidence, with that certainty, with that enthusiasm, and with that fucking truth. That's, what it needs, that's the way you need to talk about it. What makes you stand out? I want you to send me, a, send me a, a video message or a private message or even just a written message about what makes you different. I want to know what makes your business different. Why should I come and use your services over someone else? I'm always looking for different people. I'm always looking at referring people out to different companies, being a connector of businesses, of people looking for a service with someone that's providing the service. What makes you stand out? What makes you different? Let me know. Put it down there in the comments. You get the idea. We could literally, we, we, just, we would just did a really broad overview of this, but if you just do just think about this, what we just did and implement what we just talked about here in the last 30 minutes, this will change your fucking business. It'll change your life. This will make you stand out and make your price irrelevant. This is why we're able to charge $12,000 for the project. This is why we're able to charge between two to $5,000 per month for private coaching. This is why. This is why we're able to charge for LTD, Leadership Team Development, 25 to 40 to 50,000 for a, a one to two day event 
around the country because we do shit different. We don't only do shit better. We do shit fucking different. And we come with a whole different edge and a whole different perspective and a whole different way of doing shit that no, it can't be matched. It makes price irrelevant and it makes you in a category of one by your freak motherfucking self. So if you have any questions, comments, put them down below. Let's talk about it. I got to get rolling. Give me, you could send me a private message if you want any more information about any of this. We're actually doing a live 90 minute webinar this week on how to operate to dominate in your mind, your body, and your business with real world immediately implementable strategies and tactics. That's going to be this week, this Thursday at 5 p.m. Pacific. On You need a Zoom link for it, so send me a message if you want access to that. It's going to be live on Zoom with live Q&A at the end, completely freaking free. It's the kind of coaching and training that we charge people thousands of dollars a month for, thousands of dollars an hour for even on private one-on-one coaching that we're going to give absolutely free in this webinar, this OTD, Operate to Dominate Mind, Body, and Business webinar. So send me a message if you want to get access to that webinar coming up this Thursday, and I will get you the information so you can get registered for that. If you have any other questions, put them down below or send me a private message. I will talk to you later in case no one told you yet today. You are fucking awesome. No excuses.